to contain dozens of wildfires out west. People are seeing the effects all the way on the other side of the country. Carrie Sanders has this story. From the Midwest to the Mid-Atlantic and parts of the South, this morning, hazy horizons brought on by smoke from those massive wildfires out west. The largest one, the bootleg blaze in Oregon, less than 40% contained. So big and hot, it's creating its own weather, including wind and dry storms. Sending that smoke in towards parts of the northern plains and then right down into the middle part of the country and eventually over towards the east coast where we've been seeing it for days. All that smoke creating air quality warnings for millions in Pennsylvania and New Jersey. People with respiratory conditions advised to stay inside. On the National Mall in Washington, a blanket of haze amplifying D.C.'s notoriously humid summer days. I was having a little trouble with trying to catch my breath and breathing, and I just thought I was overheated. But now I can, you know, really see that it's not just from the heat, but it's from the haze as well. It makes it feel a lot more humid almost. Yeah, it's got very humid. The air's very sticky then. Scientists say these extreme fires are another example of our changing climate. The impacts of climate change may be seen in many different ways, including droughts, floods, increased storms, wildfires, both in terms of extent and intensity. When it comes to the smoke, most of the air quality warnings apply to people with underlying conditions, older adults and children. Aviation enthusiasts aren't letting the haze put a damper on this weekend's Fargo Air Show. They're gearing up to witness a historic flight with the Blue Angels. They're bringing two unique planes that have never flown together before. And a Fargo native, Commander Brian Kesselring, will be the flight leader. As for the smoke, the Air Show team says they're keeping an eye on it. Well, we've been kind of observing the uh, smoke in the air uh, recently, and we're... Yes, it would could be an issue to be concerned about, but... Uh, Every morning before the show, we have a briefing where all of the performers sit down and look at weather conditions. You can catch the show on Saturday and Sunday starting at 11. We have much more details on our website, valleynewslive.com. Just click on this story. There's a new recall involving a popular brand of muffins. Details when Valley News Live at 4 continues.